<laughs> no words. <laughs> You're speechless. I'm speechless. Oh. I'm speechless. Hi everyone. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, let me go get oh, that. You better go turn that off in the background. <laughs> I know you've been thinking about it. What's going on? We um decided to go live today for you guys. Yeah, here on we haven't YouTube. been live with you guys here in a while, and we are so happy. Uh, Yes. Yeah, to be doing this. We are so excited to be and, here with uh, you guys. We've been loving doing it on Patreon, going live with you guys, and we just thought, hey, you know what? We should just. Is it still loud? I feel like you're still partying. Okay, if you out. guys feel like the music in the background is too loud, can you let us know? Because <laughs> I think it's too loud. <laughs> so, Hannah. Welcome from the UK. She's catching us for the first time. Yes, it's too loud. Is, is this YouTube approved music? Yes, yes, it is. Okay, we just adjusted it. Yeah, we made a new playlist and the beats are a little louder than Sorry normal. about my old so, makeup um, <laughs> from yesterday. I'm well, look at who's joining us, my I'm, daughter. I'm one of those Matilda. people that sometimes I take my makeup off before I go to bed and then sometimes... I don't, because I'm name too her lazy. Matilda or Madeline? Matilda. I said Valentine. That's a stupid name. Her so, name is Matilda. I have Pinky with me. Hello, <laughs> guys. Welcome. How is it? So, we don't really have an agenda here. Oh. We're just here. So, if you, you guys want to start go, asking questions. Go live with you guys. Please. Okay. Charlie Gomez says, what is the biggest silicone baby that you've made? Um, okay, the biggest I... is... Say bye to everyone. Well, I did a partial silicone and he wore three to You're six months size. So that was pretty big. Let me go get a baby. Um, that was a Claire Taylor baby. I cannot remember what his name is. But full body biggest is a Claire Taylor I'm working on Willow. That one is the biggest. The biggest. The biggest. <laughs> Whoa, that's huge. Hey, Carrie's Reborn Baby Love. Hey, beautiful lady from Australia. Hello from Australia. When we were live in my Patreon last night, I was wearing my um, We Heart Australia shirt that I recently purchased. And 100% of the... What are you doing? 100% of, uh, finish your sentence. of the proceeds went to Australia? What? Well, guess what baby I'm bringing. Don't know. I want you to guess. I'm, I said, I'll be back. I'm bringing a baby. Are you currently holding it? Yeah, I'm currently holding it. It's going to join us in the live. Henley. Who's Henley? The girl. Yeah, okay. I knew if you're holding her with one arm, it was hurt. I was holding her. You can't. You think I can't hold Parker with one arm? Ah, he's a little heavy. <laughs> I brought baby Henley. Be careful! Ah, don't throw yeah. down. We baby. all know she is very fragile. If you guys watched her box open, everyone is welcome to this. <laughs> even if you're not an '80s or a '90s child. I just thought I would make that my Wait, title. what is your title? Oh, yeah, are you an 80s or a 90s kid? Yeah, I thought I would make that They're my like, title because oh. um, it's on my shirt. Like, different 80s. Best of well, the 90s Best of the cartoons. 90s cartoons. And, like, so she decided. I was born in 82, so these are cartoons <laughs> I watched, even though they were in the 90s. So I decided to go with that as my title. I was like, ah. Whatever, and I figured we could talk about it. Like, my favorite 90s cartoon, I love the Rugrats. <laughs> I'm a 50s kid. And then Cat Dog. <laughs> what was yours? Wait, okay, what were you saying? My favorite 90s cartoon. Um, <coughs> I, I don't know. I feel like no one ever remembers this cartoon. It was on Nickelodeon, I'm pretty sure, and it was called, called As Told by Ginger. Yes, I... Tyler loved that show. Okay, but I think you might be the only one because then I would ask other people and they're like, what is that? As I'm like, it's on Nickelodeon. Like, yeah, so I don't think that show was on for very long. 
But as a kid, I just well, I'm See, a, I no, was a teenager yeah, when seen I was the show. Crystal okay. loved the show. Yeah, I really liked. Uh, uh, Ginger, but Nanny let me is see. all real. I never liked Real Monsters. Never liked that one. I liked Real Monsters, but I loved <laughs> Rugrats and uh, something that I who didn't like Rugrats. Well, something <laughs> that I really want to purchase, and the last time I looked for one, it was I think he was like sixty dollars. But when I was Sam, 16 years old, my Christmas for 16 years old, the Rugrat movie came out where Baby Dill was born. And that year, these Baby Dill dolls came out. He's in a purple sleeper. And he cries. And he burps and stuff. And so I wanted one of those dolls. Okay, 16 years old. I wanted <laughs> one of those dolls, and I got one for Christmas. And now I want one again, but I went and looked on eBay, and I was like, yeah, the prices are high. Oh, really? So if anybody sees them at a really cheap price, please let me know where to find that. I love, um, that is one item that I really want to get one day. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, oh wait, um, Ren and Stimpy, the, the, we used to watch that. Let's, I'm trying to think of another I, car, um, 90s cartoon, but since you're wearing Nickelodeon, somehow I can only think about Nickelodeon, but I know back in... Um, elementary, middle school for me, and it's funny how it's still around, but Pokemon was like the biggest thing, and that was definitely one of the favorite 90s cartoons. I like anime. Well, I feel like 90s kind of Nickelodeon ruled that, I feel like. Pokemon was huge. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Pokemon. <laughs> like cartoons in general was like Nickelodeon was like... I feel like it was Nickelodeon cartoons, like, ruling that era. Yeah. That's why, like, you know, the 90s shirts, I see them with these characters. Is that a monster? Oh, Pinky's back. <clears throat> Pinky Pinkie. is back. I did not like Hey Arnold. I like Hey Arnold. Uh, Charlie says, how do I get baby, how do I buy babies from you? Um, I have a website. It's www. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> oh, no. It's not part of the website. Pinky. But it's my YouTube name. I'm holding the stand. Dot org. Oh my! Ah, look ah, no! <laughs> what are you doing? It said, "Don't touch her." <laughs> Pinky's a bad boy. He knows what he's not supposed to. Yes, the, uh, Kobe Bryant and his daughter, that is so sad. Um, I feel so sorry for his wife and his children. That is just awful. Um, and It was see. almost surreal. Like, what? Yeah, because it literally just happened. We were just like on the computer while it was just happening. And then um, that might have said, do I like... Sleeping or awake babies more? I like awake babies more. Sesame Street. Let's see. Bugs Bunny. Okay, another another show, but this was I don't know what the the big comfy couch. Did you guys ever watch that? Or if maybe you were a parent at the time <laughs> and you had a child. Tyler was into the big. But comfy the big couch. comfy couch was something that I loved watching. <laughs> Mr. Rogers. Of course, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> but I think Mr. Rogers, it was like really big in the 80s. And I thought it was sure. so funny how the big comfy Banana couch. Banana in pajamas, yeah. Oh, I yeah. I watched that one too. Um, has, there's a doll named Molly, and she kind of, she has a, a, a bad attitude like, Molly, the Molly that used to be here on this channel. Rocco's Modern <laughs> Life, I've seen somebody say something. It's on the shirt, actually. I'll stand up. You can see. <laughs> I don't know where he's from. Which one is this that? little guy? Oh, he's um, isn't he from? Uh... I know. I I don't think I watched that. Oh. It might be Beavers something. I don't know. I, I know. I've seen him because before. Because we think... we were allowed to watch something. Wait, is there more on the back? back but back. not not a lot. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And that's what's on the Oh back. my god, I cannot believe. Yeah, um, the real monsters, Ren and Stimpy, um, Raptor from Rugrats, and then this girl, where is she from? The Wild Thornberry? Yeah. Is she? 
Wait, let me see. I don't know where she's from. No, that girl, the purple hair girl? Yeah. Oh, no, she's from a, it's a group of kids. I don't think uh, I ever watched that one either. I didn't watch it, but I know who it, I know. Like, the, the members. The members? Yeah, <laughs> the one members. of them wears a beanie and he has like a couple hair strands. It's like his hair. Okay, let's see. Uh, Becky says her kids love the comfy couch. Crystal Gale, my first time watching you guys. Well, welcome. Okay, guess Grace we're... Faber, we are live. This is totally live. Team Rocket. Oh, yes, Team Rocket. Team Rocket for who? Which one is that? I think that was the card for the purple girl. Oh, for the purple girl? I think. Okay. Look oh, Angry here. Beavers is for the beaver. Angry Beavers. It's hey, Parker. Tiffany Circus. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> We're just hanging out and Kit Kats are having some cartoon talk. This is my <laughs> new favorite doll in the house. Taking a break from work. I love this baby. I've been working on Annie. It's like she has an endless head. It's like Annie's <laughs> never... I told her, I said, oh my god, Annie's going to be great. She has a small head. No, it's, it's just like it's a, taking forever. Uh, it's a lot of things, but... Um, yeah. We're halfway there. We're almost there. We're more there. than halfway there. We're almost there. <laughs> almost there. Let's see. Um, it's like mm -hmm. to see if there's any questions or anything. I just love, uh, Liz says, I just love the babies. Did you get the dress doll and the red dress sorted? Yes. yes. It's this one. Yes. Oh, yeah, this, this one. one. Yes. Um, she, ha her, her. Are you able to show them or is it too, too much? Like if you take her off the stand. No. no, because when, yeah, I would take her off the stand, but when I put her on the stand, I heard... I guess we can just post pictures on Instagram. Oh, we do have pictures, yeah, that we can share on Instagram. Yeah, I would take her off the stand to show you she is glued back together, but when I was putting that back around her chest, I could hear the weakness in yeah. her back. And I was like, please don't break, please don't break, please don't... Oh my god, okay, good. And then the dress was like pulled up. On one area, and I'm like, oh, please let me get that fixed right. It's so funny. She's talking about it because I wasn't there. She wanted to surprise me and have her all dressed up yeah. before I got up that morning. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, not sometimes, but this woman right here, she hardly sleeps. <laughs> and as long as I, I get myself out of bed, if, if she's not in bed, I'm just like... Okay, well, time to get up because I need to go see how she's doing. How long she's been up. How long she's been long. How long has she slept? What is she up to? It's always work, 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 work. <laughs> and um, anyway, I don't know what the point. Oh, yeah. So she was, it was one morning when she was up before me and yeah, she wanted to get her ready. <laughs> so I, thought I, I, could, I think her. I was up at five in the morning that morning. And Jackie got up like a, a little after, no, like at six. No. Yeah, a little after six, because I think Tamri saw her before she left for school, too. But she's so cool. How many of you are a fan of cupies or just vintage toys or anything vintage-like? Um, I'm finding it... I'm actually... was actually. Let oh, me start all over. Let me clear up a question really quick. Okay. So, um, Kit Kat's art and cosplay... No, I did not make her. She's from the year 1982. Uh, one of our fans messaged me on Facebook and in their area, because you know how Facebook has yard sales and stuff? Well, in their area, she messaged me and she said, somebody has this cupie for sale. <clears throat> Do you want it? And I was like, first thing pops in my mind is I'm thinking, hundreds. that doll is hundreds of dollars. I said, well, ask depending, her. How, depending, depending. Yeah, <laughs> I said, ask her how much she wants for it. She messages back and says $15. And I'm like, oh my God, Jackie needs a Valentine's Day gift. Hi, Emily. $15. Fun. Get the doll for me, please. And then I'm like, wait, how big is this doll? She's like, it's 40, it's 24 inches. And I'm like, oh my God, the shipping. It was only actually 40 bucks to ship her. And, um, but so she went and got her. 
And neither of us have shipped porcelain dolls at all. And let me tell you, if you saw the video, she had so much bubble wrap. But right where the metal bar hit her butt on, um, <laughs> you know, when she was traveling, it busted her. So her lower torso just basically broke off into her um, groin. And so we had to piece her butt. It was the worst in the butt. We had to piece her butt all back. So together. that's why I got to see her early. Because yeah, because she oh, needed my help. For one, I'm recording this box opening, <laughs> and Jackie's like, "I promise you, I won't Which watch it or I nothing." Wouldn't. And I'm recording it, and I'm like, "Oh my god, no!" And she's like, "It's broken," and I'm like, <gasps> "Yeah." So of course, you know, Valentine's Day gift, and she already knows that I had purchased this so because she can't keep a secret no me. when no. she buys me things she's like <gasps> plus when you see it in person got it's so much different than the photo. I, but I'm not gonna tell you and then she'll be like 10 seconds later do you want to know I'm yeah like, so not anyways, really <laughs> we worked together and she was not, oh gosh she's back together great and then I had to attempt to dress her after that. Try dressing a ball-jointed, straight-arm porcelain doll or ceramic <laughs> doll that already has a broken ass. <laughs> and that you've glued together and you're just like, oh my god. So and I in order to dress this doll, if you've ever dressed a, a ball-jointed doll like this, they have um, like cords, like those cables that you would wrap around like these cords that you stretch basically it's what it is it's cords that well, go from arm it, to arm if you and guys they have, have ever made there. like um what is it that bungee matter? cords they're like bungee cords That's like exactly. coco by natalie blick yeah like those ball jointed dolls that you need to like pull a string yeah. to so get... it's got the same concept. so that's why she needed my help because she had to pull the legs apart Bar while, while we glued the butt together and oh like my God. stand there for but, two minutes it was fast glue luckily we even had yeah glue for this but the next morning <laughs> when i'm trying to get her dressed secretly i'm having to pull her arms apart like separate them from the body without applying too much force on her body that was just reconstructed and get her dressed <laughs> and then bring the arms back because they're they're like bungee cords straight up like it has that snap so you have to bring it back gently <laughs> and then i'm like oh, oh my god we can breathe but yeah it was quite the adventure that's for sure let's see Baltic babies are super nice. Super nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Avatar fans says that you need duct tape for my mouth. It'll work for 10 seconds. What's that mean? I don't know. So, um, yeah, Baltic <laughs> babies are awesome. I totally love them. They are amazing. I just, especially like I really like they're underpriced for the, for the silicone baby full body. I but I think it's it. wonderful because it allows so many people in the community to be able to afford one. And if I'm reading the site, well, although it's in a different language, it looks like they have payment options. <laughs> so I'm not know. sure. <laughs> Peanut. Hey, Peanut. Come here. Oh, she says about speak, telling the gifts. Ah, yeah, you know why I want to tell her most of the time? is because I know that this doll was worth hundreds of dollars, and I got her for 15 bucks. So that's what forces me to want to tell, because I want to be like, look at this awesome deal I got! And yeah, but if it was just like, let's just say I bought her an eyeshadow palette from Ulta, I wouldn't tell her, because it's not exciting. That doesn't happen anymore. No, it doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> but I'm just saying. The dolls are for rich people. No, they're not. Um, is your most favorite silicone? What is your, Charlie wants to know? What's my most favorite silicone I've made? Um, <clears throat> let's see. The most favorite silicone I've made. Well, man. 
I really enjoyed painting Annie, and I don't know if I'm saying that because she has such a freaking happy face. I so love like, her face. She makes it more enjoyable to paint. <sighs> but I think painting-wise, Leaf went effortlessly and flawlessly in my mind as an artist for my work and like the struggles I've had with silicone leaf was just amazing like each doll I paint gets I get better and better and I can work on different areas and I just love the fact that Baltic Baby sends me these dolls because they know I'm in that lawsuit with Bountiful Baby and they want to help as much as they can so they send us these dolls and I'm so thankful for it but I'm also thankful because I get to practice my artwork because without that I could never afford the silicone. It's well, it's way also too a expensive. promotional item yeah. for them because they get public uh, advertisement from our channel and we get to introduce these new dolls to people that don't know about them. And I met them all because if you guys remember that uh, video where the company, one of the companies who produces and sells the stolen Elisa Marks uh, silicone baby kits contacted me wanted me to send what wanted me to review one um, and they wanted to send it to me for free so I took it and I reviewed it and I like told them how this is I made a video about how you shouldn't be buying these it's illegal and then I made another video cutting up the pro um, product and getting rid of it well when they saw that video the video of me cutting up the product had such an impact with them and Elisa Marks and they were just like, can we please send you a, um, one of the Elisa Marks dolls because we which want, is which is yet yeah. beautiful baby yeah. and they're like, because we want people to know that she does have her first silicone out and that it's legit and um, I said sure and then they noticed like they had another baby come out. I was like, oh, that baby's so cute. And they're like, oh, we're going to send you that one, too. And I was like, oh, my God, wow. And then I noticed I fell into this lawsuit. They're like, we're just going to keep sending you them. Is that fine? And I'm like, yeah. And I never, like, take anything real until it's here because a lot of people have promised me a lot of things and never follow through with it. So I'm like, yeah, they say they're sending me another baby. But and then when it's here, I'm like, oh, yeah, they were, they were telling the truth. <laughs> Excuse me, because a lot of people do like to me, but they have been so amazing, and their product is amazing. I, I love like rooting it. it. I like rooting it. I them. love holding it. It's been the easiest to paint, and I've painted several different um, silicones by different silicone pourers and sculptors. The other easy one that was really easy to paint was um, D3 Creations, and I've only painted their doll once, but I remember it just being very, like, flawless as well like their work is so clean and that's that's one thing that makes a big difference like when you buy silicone dolls D3 creations like they are very meticulous about their silicones I noticed and so it's all nicely clean like there's no sometimes like if the fingers are connected they'll be like a little ball of silicone that you'll have to like remove yourself like cut out like you'll just see these little silicone tabs here and there and so, um, D3 Creations is really great about cleaning their work, and Baltic Baby is, like, just the same. Like, I was paying attention, and I'm like, wow, their silicone work is so clean. They're just working on minimizing their seam lines, because they haven't been in the business as long as, um, you know, D3 Creations has and everyone else. So, but they're getting better with each doll, and I start for the price of their dolls, those seam lines are worth it because <laughs> they're hardly noticeable. But um, yeah, uh, uh, Virginia Virginia Dance One says, "I love how Jackie's holding the baby right now." <laughs> uh, Timeless Tiny Reborn Nursery. Do you have a favorite reborn kit at the moment? Um, I gosh, no. There used to be a time when there was a favorite kit because there weren't so many. Yeah, there weren't so many and they were so limited. But now it's become very difficult to yeah. say because there's so many cute ones, you I, know? You know, if you want my honest opinion, 
The Behringer dolls that we get from Walmart, those when I paint them, they're kind of like my favorite kit because they're they're just so different. Like, what what do you mean? Are you talking about like like Henley, like Henley, or... just like how they turn out? Like oh. hey, they what, just what are because um, they have like a very round head. Uh huh. And you know, I feel like a lot of the time that we don't get a lot of round head babies like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just. I really have a lot of fun painting them. They're really nice to paint if you guys ever want to try them. But just uh-huh, $22. Make sure that you have fans going um, in your home. I'm always so worried about that stuff like that. Yeah, we fans and open windows. We use a new wave oven to bake our doll kits, but I'm always like, have the windows open and air it out. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Why are you crying? You want to go I'll be right back, guys. Come on. Oh, they only have a payment plan available in Germany for Baltic Baby. Okay. Well, either way, their dolls are not a huge amount to have to save up for. So it wouldn't take you, like, an average person, like, if you were working or, you know, shouldn't take terribly too long. Like, some of those silicone kits I've seen are $2,000. So that would take forever. Wait, did Henley come from Walmart? Yes, Henley is a Walmart baby. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring her back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Henley, I, those sculpts that they use, they remind me so much of Reborn. Oh mm-hmm. wait, what's going on with this? Well, Antonio Sanchez, who, um... He sculpts some of the barren So, yeah, dolls. Henley, and I'll, you, if I bring it closer, you'll see the hairline. She has etched in hair. Yeah, like 3D. But, yeah, she's totally a Walmart baby, reborn <laughs> the way that we, or Stephanie, because Stephanie painted her, the way that Stephanie and she paints has, her um, reborns. She has, like, one quarter. yeah. One quarter limbs. We have uh, made how realistic they and adopted are. out a few of these. Maybe a couple I have, of yeah. months ago. I have one that I got at the... Um, are we yelling? I feel like we're I yelling. We are. I have one that I recently <laughs> got. And she also has one quarter legs, if you guys want to see. I got this one, what was he, $1.39 or something at the um, Goodwill? <laughs> at the Goodwill. It was yeah. such a good find, but so these I, are the babies. This is the baby, same as Henley. But it's twenty two bucks. So it's like more than mm-hmm. a quarter. Yeah, and the, and I get the bodies at Matt Pearson's. I think they're yeah. $18. So we do give them new bodies. We don't keep the bodies they come with because they're more like if you guys have to me like so they're like a doll, like a cabbage patch. You know how they're like sewn um, at the shoulders and at the thigh area. So they come with those bodies. So we totally change the bodies. And we use bodies that are sold at McPherson. McPherson, yeah, they're one of the And um, that's what gives bodies. them the more um, baby length, uh-huh. right? It, it, because when they, when you first get them, they're really short. Yeah, she, she wears zero to three month size clothing, like, um, and the sleepers fit her really nice. Let me hold her again for you. I love the one quarter limb babies. They just pose so realistically. Um, I don't know. I just think they're so, they're so cuddly and natural feeling. I just enjoy them a lot. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I, I had no idea some of you didn't know that. Henry, I thought every, you know what, it amazes Henry, me. People miss videos. No, I, you know, and, we just get new followers. Oh, that too, so that too, that too. You post every day. So I do. people can't I watch do. your videos I every do. day. I do. Too, so they're going to miss some topics, but yeah. Um, um, what size of body for her? I actually got the 20 inch body and even though it's 20 inches, it made her wear three month size clothes. So 20 inch body is what I got. Yeah, they're so awesome to reborn. I have made a couple of them to fund the lawsuit, I believe, um, to help fund the lawsuit. And um, they're really fun to paint. If you guys yeah. just want to try something new, they're definitely. a lot of fun. What's their name? Do you remember? Um, I think if you put on Walmart and you put Behringer Cuddle, 
Because at the back of her neck says Behringer. Yeah, she's a Behringer. So if you go to Walmart and you put Behringer Cuddle, I believe they come up. They're like $22. They're really cute. They're dressed in a cute sleeper. They'll have a pacifier. There's like four different versions of them. Um, I, as so soon as I get acetone. So they They can like hug themselves. <laughs> almost like yeah. a cuddle baby, but... They have hands and feet. They have hands and feet, so you don't have to worry about mittens or... Yeah, you don't have socks. She can be sockless. Mm -hmm. Is that a word? Sockless, yeah. Sockless. Yeah. So as soon as I get some acetone, I'm going to be finishing up the other one. I'm excited. But yeah, she's actually one of my favorite collection dolls. Like, I don't see, like... Selling her, I enjoy her on my channel, and everybody seems to enjoy her. And on she my gets channel. what I call the princess bed. Yeah, she is <laughs> in the princess bed. She's the in the princess bed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring another baby now. Emily Funk. Um, no, I do not remove her factory paint because okay. So when they came, when they come to you, they have. Let me see if I if. This one that I got from the Goodwill, let me see. Okay. Yeah. So they actually really don't have much factory paint. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a slightly different color. Just slightly. Just right there. And it's almost like a rosy color. So I actually just um, use it to go with my work. But I'm stripping this one completely because I got the doll at the Goodwill. So I want to make it clean. And well, there's have some markings. Yeah, and I just, you know, <laughs> don't know where it's been. But I usually, I leave the head with the paint too, the hair. And then I take additional paint and I dry brush it to get like um, a more dimension into it. So... But I do remove the factory paint if they have eyebrows, but I leave the lip color varnish right over the gloss because they have a nice base for a lip color and I build up from there. So can you guys guess what baby I have? This baby has a mommy and if she's watching us or whenever she watches this video, hopefully she makes it this far because we've been here for quite a while. Yeah, we have. She's going to be going home pretty soon, right? What she want her? When does she uh, want I her? I think she wants to be shipping her the 28th. Okay. So here so, she yeah, really is. Soon. It's a little smiley baby. I don't know what her kit is. Hello, Miss Donnie. Long time no <laughs> see. Hey, Fiona. But, yeah, she's so Oh, I love though. the apply, uh, first painted applied hair. I love the applied hair, but a lot of people don't like it. <coughs> I love it. She's not heavy, thank goodness. She's not weighted yet. <laughs> no. I weigh my dolls for the most part before they go home. But Same actually, here. lately, a lot of them have been weighted. <laughs> I don't know why. I just was on a kick of just weighing them right away. It's much easier to take photos, too. So if you're taking photos right now, if you're a, a reborn artist and you're photographing your doll... I would recommend them wondering why you can't get all the poses. Definitely don't weigh them. Do do stuff the body. Yeah, we do learned that from body. Sylvia because we were like, "How do you get the doll's legs and to stand up?" Mind you, she's like, "I don't weigh them. Don't weigh them, and they're much easier to pose for a cute picture." Yep. Yeah. And then, like you don't, know, you can sell them without glass beads. So if you're out of glass beads, when you get your payment, you can go buy glass beads. <laughs> Because that's happened to us. <laughs> it's been a experience. <laughs> when the doll sells, we'll just go to Harbor Freight and get Gus Beats. <laughs> I'm just saying. Works. Yeah, so I hope all of you have been enjoying your weekend. Um, you know, the whole baby clown thing. It first came out bad, but then there's been some stuff that's brought up some information with valid sources that is actually proving that there was some discrepancies in the beginning and that they're not actually really those people that they were they have been labeled to be in the community. Um, the person that has all the information about Baby Clon. 
is going to give me to read with all the sources and stuff. I just haven't had a chance to read it because I'm um, lost. <laughs> if, if what the world, the reborn world thinks of Baby Con happens to not be true, I will be shedding light on that to um, help her clear her name in the reborn world because she's a really nice lady. So I happen to believe that the stuff that I'm going to be reading is probably true and the sources are true. So um, yeah, that's a, just a research project for me that I need to pick up um, a little bit later <laughs> once this lawsuit has kind of dialed down a little bit and we can, because we're just having to work and work and work to pay the attorney and stuff. And it's just like, I don't have time to pick up that research project. But that's a really good um, <laughs> question, but thank you. No, Grace, I cannot make you a doll. I do have dolls for sale. I don't do customs. If you want to buy a doll, go on the website. Well, the only custom work I do is um, I do custom work. I paint Baltic baby dolls. That's the only custom work I'm offering. Baltic silicone dolls. So, baby fawn or baby con? It's baby clon. Clon is C L O N. Like like clone, but without the E. Clone. Clon. <laughs> oh, um, I wanted to show you guys. I don't know. I have a new. Oh, I did. I did show some of you guys. Oh no, I showed you my Patreon, huh? Yeah. yeah, Patreon have gone live recently twice with them. So if you guys join Patreon, you'll get to be live with us more. So and you can, what do you look at me? I don't know, because I'm conversating. And um you can join Patreon for as low as a dollar, but and last week we've gone live with Patreon <laughs> twice. And at least once a week you're guaranteed we're guaranteed to oh, go live with I'll Patreon be every Friday. But well, here's a body. Um, paintbrush or makeup brush or pencil holder I made. This one. They're on my website. But this one was a suggested theme, a Care Bear theme by, um, First Time Reborn Mom. Uh, she's a Patreon member. So I kind of made like a Care Bear romper. And if she had had a neck, the tie would be right there. Peanut, stop it. So she's just my Care Bear inspired. Hello from Australia. And then we're, so we've got a cute little clown body. This is what I call like my first day of school clown body because he's all primary colors. Really cute. He's got red little clown shoes. Just adorable. I like a little signature. He's already got his first tattoo. <laughs> so cute. I love these so much. I have so much fun making these. And then so this one is a Patreon um, requested design as well. I'll give uh, Heather partial credit because she said Galaxy. But I did nighttime, but I can't remember. Partial credit? Yeah, I can't. What is even that? Because it's nighttime, like daytime. Like <laughs> and it looks like Galaxy. I don't know. I need to do a full Galaxy Look, one for Heather. If it wasn't for her idea, you would have never created it. No, just... somebody suggested a nighttime daytime one. <laughs> and Heather also said Galaxy. So I was giving her a little bit of credit because we got some stars in here. <laughs> but I need to make a full Galaxy one for Heather. But so on Patreon, they're able to, you know, sometimes they suggest things and I make them. So we've got a daytime, nighttime. Show them the moon. I'm Baby, so look at the moon. proud of that moon. That moon looks so, so real to me. That's the moon on a <laughs> shoulder. I don't know. Yeah, point at the, the, baby. Point the baby. But yeah, that's so cute. I love that. So, and then, yeah, it does have its tattoo as well. And you then, mean your signature. Whatever. whatever. <laughs> My most favorite piece, though, is this baby head. So she can hold a lot more brushes and pencils. So cute. She's got a plug. And then it's got my uh, signature there. But she is my favorite. Cutie Mark. <laughs> says, Fio says, um, I wanted to see Stephanie. I love your hair so much. The light pink 
goes well with your color and make and your skin. Your hair makes you look way younger. Thank you so much. Woo! Because I don't have makeup on right now, so so woo! I have old crusty makeup. <laughs> From last night. <laughs> From the, yeah, we went live on Patreon. Yeah, we were live on and, Patreon. Um, I just wanted to she, say, so she dresses up for the Patreon members. No, 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 no. It's not even that <laughs> because if it wasn't for my recent um, medication change, I've been feeling so much better, and I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, I even went as far as to bleaching my hair, something that. Um, the half and half something that I've been wanting to do for so long but because of depression you just don't do those you don't do those things and you're just like you know so like I've been um, taking this new SSRI along with um, I'm also on a bipolar medication but it's not the bipolar that you, it's more on the depressive depression side of the spectrum so I've been feeling a whole lot better and you guys are able to tell because I am active on Instagram I'm active on YouTube with my wife or I'll make my own videos and um, that's speaking it. of that Avatar fan wants to know when you're making another video soon soon I was supposed to but I got lazy those cuddle babies that I recently made I was supposed to make a box packing video but I got lazy I'm going to admit it a hundred percent <laughs> but um, I'm at least here with my wife, so you guys get to see me more often than ever. If, for those that like to see um, me here, <laughs> and um, but in, anyway, all I wanted to say is I have felt a lot better. So the second to last video that I think is where I'm crying. Um, I believe a few days later I had my. Right before we lost our car, I'm so glad my appointment was right before we lost our car because the place is not that nearby. So, um, I had this medication change and it was, it's just like, wow, I feel so much better and I feel so happy. And then you guys just, the cherry on top, man, it makes it, it's just completed. It, my life feels complete right now and... Um, that's why, and that's why I've been so cheery. So yeah, when, um, don't post on Patreon. It, it's usually because I'm on the low side of things, but I, I really try hard not to fall into that. It's, it's very difficult, but sorry for take. No, just wanted to sure. talk a little bit about it because some people struggle with it or are afraid to talk about it, um, especially on social media and so publicly. Um, but I'm not ashamed. <laughs> Actually, the biggest fear I ever had about being social, being on social media, is not being accepted for because I am with a woman. So that was my biggest fear that being in the reborn world, a lot of people would not even turn their eye at me because I am with a woman because of things that have happened in my real life. In, in, in real life for me. So that was my biggest, biggest fear of um, being online. But never about talking about mental illness. Because mental illness is real. And if someone is suffering and you see it, you should definitely reach out and help them. Because if it wasn't for Stephanie, I really don't know where I would be. Because she's been the only person in my entire life. Oh, and she's that not has, easy to handle. That has helped me through edge everything everything trying to deal with it too like <laughs> like she's when i when one. i know her medication is not working she's instantly like no it's you it's you it's you and i'm like dude i'm the only non-medicated person around here <laughs> and this house is not me and i'm like and, I, and even when we see the psychiatrist i'm like can you please tell her that she needs to listen to me when she's in her Stephanie, stop playing stage. with the doll. Said, I'm, I'm playing with the doll. Someone said, Stephanie, stop playing with the doll. I Whoa! <laughs> Did you guys just see that? Her head moved. <laughs> she was like, mm. like, what's up? My I iPad died! <laughs> <laughs> Your iPad died. It said it had 60% battery life. 16, I didn't even get it all. Where's your phone? Right there, we're recording. Oh, I'll bring, I'll bring my... No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I just need to charge my iPad. Well, I guess you just get close to the screen here. 
But, um, oh my gosh. This is the case I, I wanted got to show for you. Avatar fan. <laughs> we have a lot to say, See? obviously. That's the case. Avatar fan gifted me this iPad. I've never had one before. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's really handy during the lives. But now it's this. <clears throat> I'm going to charge it. <coughs> oh, it's not, it's, it's not, not plugged in right oh, now. Okay, well, I'll just leave it over here. Yeah. So, what I wanted to say is, along with all of the cabbage <coughs> patch things that my wife has um, had shared with you guys, because so many amazing people have sent her cabbage patch stuff, um, we all of a sudden remembered that we used to have a cabbage patch uh, blanket, which is the one that. I'm holding right here. It's so cute. So when we were first together, I think maybe it was like three years into the relationship. Don't lie. That was like three Christmases ago. This was not that recent. No, it was in the Vacaville apartment. No, it was never here. It was like in the Vacaville apartments. Are you sure? Yes. I'm pretty sure it was three. It was never here. And I'm gonna have to go watch my videos now. We we found I'm sure it. I have and video we're so in excited. It's so cute. Avatar fan, figure out what Christmas it was that got that. No, I know it was Vacaville. I know <laughs> it was either three or four Christmases of us. I say together. three Christmases. <laughs> And for those wondering, like, how long we've been together, um, this year we are celebrating our 10-year anniversary, so, of being together now married. We got married as soon as um, same-sex marriage was legalized in second California. Time. For the second time, because the first time it didn't last very long. Then the second time, we were like, okay, we better go before... <laughs> Before you before know, they take it away, so, we got so it was birthday. actually on her birthday, mm -hmm. 2013. I'm glad you remember the year because I don't. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I, I was like, I don't know how long we've been married. I was almost 24 years old. I was almost um, 25. <laughs> no, she's seven years older than me, so she's I lying know again. she was 30, <laughs> which is what I am now. I'm 30 now. <laughs> So I'm 31. So she's 37. She's seven years older than me. So I met her when um, I was 21. That's just what my birth certificate says. <laughs> when I had just barely, well, actually, I had turned 21 in August, and I met you in um, my jam, November like, of that this year. This is like an 80s jam. <laughs> or 90s. <laughs> well, it goes with your theme of your video. Really? It's like rock album. <laughs> Look at this, guys. This is Lee by Priscilla Lopez. But um, he looks like a more um, realistic <laughs> version of Parker, like his kit. And he reminds me of a baby Parker. It's so cute. <laughs> I was painting him. I was like, I'm going to have to keep you. But no, I won't. It's for sale. But yeah. yeah, we were together for one year before we discovered the Reborns. So we discovered the Reborns together. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. That was pretty In fun. bed. <laughs> In bed, but... PG. <laughs> we were looking at, we, we were on eBay. <laughs> I'm just like, why would you even say that? Because it sounds funny, but that's how it was. It just we sounds were going creepy. To bed. We were, it's where we're going to bed, and she's looking for these stupid Monster High dolls. Yeah, that's how long I've been so collecting over. Monster High dolls. And I was like, go on eBay. So that's how we and found the Reborns. We saw like categories in Reborns. I mean, Reborns. <laughs> Wrong category. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, reborn. and uh, she was actually the first one to have a reborn baby. Yeah, she I it was, it was around the time that it was close to Christmas, so I had no idea what to buy her. And she had just discovered the reborns and was looking at reborns all day and all night. I went through all, all day the eBay pages and all night for days. But back and then I'm just there wasn't like, that many, I'm sure. Back then there wasn't that but many. There was reborns. still a lot, like twenty thousand, and I went through all. So this was in two thousand eleven. That's why the channel I was is in love with reborns twenty eleven. So I was like, <laughs> do, you, do you want one of those for Christmas? Like, do you want to check them out? Do you want to see what it's about? <laughs> and um, without hesitation. She said, yes, I, I would love to have one of those dolls. And um, I never was not supportive. I just thought it was, like, not weird either. I was just like, 
Oh, well, you like dolls. That's cool. I you made like... me put a blanket on its face when we I was that. scared of it. I was scared of the doll. So that's but anyway, what supportive. I was saying was like, okay, well, she likes baby dolls, and I'm over here collecting, mo- collecting Monster High dolls. So, you know, that's just her thing. But yes, I was very much afraid of the doll because I have had nightmares. <laughs> I have nightmares of dolls, like body parts, just coming to life after me and like scratching me in my dreams. Why are you making dolls then? And I could totally feel, you know, you could, it feels so real. So I was just like, okay, that's fine. You can keep it in the room, but can you just please put a blanket over it? <laughs> At least he didn't ask me to put a plastic bag. At least I didn't say take it out of the room. Like, please get it out of the room and lock the door. <laughs> I was just like, just put a blanket over it and I'll feel fine. I'm just a little scared of it. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to buy new clothes either. I felt bad that she was spending clothes, like real money, <laughs> on real baby clothes i just couldn't comprehend <laughs> she was so i couldn't comprehend why so i was like i was like i was Wait, like no on. i kind of told no, her not to do that and that was not good i was 21 and i know age, age is not an excuse but i was <laughs> like you really shouldn't do that that's such a waste because she <laughs> wasn't into it but the moment the moment she got a dog her dog got brand new clothes <laughs> Let me tell you what. And then guess what? It was okay for I'm like, my... real money? It, it was okay Taylor. for my doll to get new clothes then. <laughs> no, I, it was as bad as you can only have one blanket. You better not buy another blanket because I will be so upset that you spent that money because... But I it was, had to be from no one to pawn child. Or I like was a college student at the time, so I wasn't bringing in any money. No, I was. And she was working at a landscaping company and was making decent money, but still, I wanted to like. She was hang. controlling it. <laughs> I was like, no, don't do that. Don't buy. I want to go to the club. <laughs> we we're going to the club tonight. <laughs> we're so not. You are not getting dog clothes. Kind of. You guys might think we might be really clubbing kind of people, but we we did go clubbing when we first were got together. Maybe like. Five times. Yeah, not more than ten times. But prior to you, <laughs> I went clubbing quite a bit. Well, that's her. <laughs> I was very young when you met me. You see, I it's was not my fault. just turned 21, so I didn't really, like, had that scene. Yeah. But I really not really into it. Nah, no. you, nah. <laughs> nah, nah. It's not play for her. <laughs> she just doesn't do well. I mean, she, she has some drinks. And then she's very like you have to watch her because she just thinks she's in Candyland. I don't know. Candyland. She's just like, oh hi, you're so mystical. <laughs> you know, like very just I doesn't won't talk pay to strangers. Doesn't pay attention to what's around her. So like you have to be like, oh my god, watching her because next thing you know she's gonna be getting anyway, caught. Anyway, this is a reborn channel. Excuse me, no, this is a this is just a channel. Okay, it's not anything. It has everything. It's Ooh, real life. <laughs> I hate no, you're right. That. No, you're right. That car- you're this right. is a reborn channel. I'm like, please. This is a this whatever. is whatever the hell I want it to be channel. Okay. <laughs> I am relaxed. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of you who have been here with us, hanging out with us. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday, and it's all always so <laughs> awesome to interact with you guys. Um, our iPad died, so I don't know why Stephanie's not looking at the comments. <laughs> well, what am I going to be up here? Um, all right, so, uh, <laughs> I mean, you're not going to be in the middle of the freaking screen. It's been an hour. We should probably end it. What? Well, we could go live maybe later because no, people want to watch this and they don't want to watch a four-hour live. Like, it, an hour is already a lot. Can we just stay on for ten more minutes? Ten more minutes. <laughs> okay, well, it's 53 minutes, so I'll let you have a full hour. Uh, oh my god, you're so mean. I'm just thinking about the other people I want to watch. No, that's fine. They skip right through it. Wow. I don't think people skip through my stuff. Well, I mean, you... we talk about a lot of porn. Is that what you do? You just skip through me? No, I'm just saying. Is that what everybody does? So you guys are just skipping through it? Sometimes I see Timber skipping through videos. So I'm, I'm gonna skip around <laughs> on you people now. 
I just skipped the commercials. I mean, dang. I think your Cupid doll is haunted. Why? Don't say that. <laughs> I hope she's haunted. Oh, she's Let's see um, between her if her hands um, move in these last few minutes. That we'll just leave it like that. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this might not end up well. She might have both of our heads. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's how we got into Reborns, going, rewind, that's how we got into Reborns, we've talked about it before, but, you know, there might be some of you that haven't seen those videos, which is totally fine, and, um, I, see I thought it would be fun to it. talk about it. Maybe clean her cracks. <laughs> She's so cute, this is my doll. Stephanie adores that doll. I'm actually quite surprised. <laughs> because when I got my first cutie, she was just like, mm. <laughs> Even the big vinyl one, like, I think she's really cute. And I knew Jackie would like her. And I'm just like, eh. But when I saw this one, I was like, oh my god. I think it's because it's so shiny. But I'm still mad that her butt's broken. She's got, like, some dust. On her finger. Right there. there we go. There we go. It'll be the best. Just had to clean her. She has a little bit of dust. I found some dust on her. Doesn't normally got her hands up like that. What's up? Ha! And then she goes, ha! Ah! No. <laughs> Do a break everywhere! God, I'm so terrified for this dog. And all I want to do is do selfies with it and move it around. We're fragile, and I'm just like, don't touch it. But I can. <laughs> no, I let people touch it. She's doing the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Except she can't do the C. No, don't even. She can do the, like, she, she can't do, do the C, M, C. so we can't. A. <laughs> uh, is this an M? M? Oh, it's a cutie style of YMCA. Yeah. <laughs> that was her cutie style. She did it backwards. She did it all wrong, though. She did YCAM. Oh, no, the blanket. This blanket is so cute. I know. You got it like three years ago, though. It was not three years ago, honey. I know what I'm telling you. Okay, you just listen. Our whole relationship, I tell you. Why can't you just listen? <laughs> because she's a know-it-all. I'm not a know-it-all. I'm totally not a know-it-all. I when I admit when I'm wrong. Yeah, true. <laughs> know-it-all that's wrong. I know what all that's wrong. At, at times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong all the time, but then randomly I'm a know it all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm the opposite. Okay. Uh-huh. You got glitter all over your face, girl. I need to get in the shower. It's okay. It's okay. We're ready to go out again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, I don't do my hair only for Patreon and not for YouTube. That was so mean. That's how it. Looks I just to wanted me. to explain that I have been my makeup better. was done last night too. It's not today. And um, you know things are flowing forward, and uh, you know you guys are still here, and you guys still love us, and Madeline so loves you guys too. What? <laughs> No, Matilda. Sorry, Matilda loves you guys, too. I hate how loose her neck is. It scares me, man. She's like, break your neck! Oh, God. Yeah, right there. You're right there, that scares me. You keep your head right there. It's not allowed to move anymore. Who's back there? Oh, Peanut. <laughs> Which dog is behind you? Peanut, we Peanut. just see. <laughs> Well, why can't you listen better than what I get? <laughs> 
Why can't you be Fair normal and quit being a freak? That's what you get? Oh, I'm so sorry, Heather. I think you Wait, need to move out of here. About? Heather says that's better than what she gets. She gets, why can't you be normal and stop being a freak? Oh. See, Heather needs a better living environment. So the dog behind us, uh, he had something in his mouth. Eve. What? Oh, sorry. It's Peanut, my little baby. You want to give me a kissy? He's not in the mood for me. He's like, you're not crying. We don't need to. We don't need to talk. No, but really, this dog feels me. Whenever I feel sad or I'm crying, he's just like right there for me. Oh, baby. Well, why is he looking at me? Because he loves you, too. Give her a kissy. He's like, you need to clean your ears. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We've had fun. Yeah, thank you for hanging out with us. And we hope to go live soon again. And definitely look for a video for, on definitely, my channel. Definitely, for sure. We're live every <laughs> Friday night on Patreon. Yeah, so for sure, on Patreon. If so. you guys want to be there <laughs> and be in those lives, you can join us for a buck over there. All right, guys, we'll have a good Sunday, and thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.